emotions in Jamaica are still running high a year on from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which the couple made allegations of racism against an unnamed member of the royal family, a prominent lawyer has told. As British heir to the throne Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton begin a visit to Jamaica on Tuesday, local people plan a protest to demand that former colonial ruler Britain pay reparations for the hundreds of thousands of Africans brought to the islands as slaves before the practice was abolished in the 19th century. For some Jamaicans, the allegations of racism within the royal family made in last year's Oprah interview, when Meghan said an unnamed royal had commented on how dark her unborn child's skin might be, add another irritant. Jamaican attorney and reparations advocate Bert Samuels has told that the accusations struck a serious chord with people on the island. He said, Jamaicans were very torn up to hear about Harry and Meghan's issue, and Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah Winfrey, and that has torn us. That's William's brother, that's his nephew, and for Harry to have been treated the way he was, and worse yet Meghan. The Jamaicans are very hurt by the treatment of an African-American woman in that family. William needs to speak to that when he comes in as it were he should come here with an apology, not only for slavery but for the treatment of a black woman who had to run out of the palace with her husband. That's a strong issue and that's a fresh wound. Amid the storm created by the Oprah interview, Buckingham Palace released a rare statement saying, the issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. During her interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, Meghan confessed the institution of mistreating her over racism, Meghan revealed that she experienced severe remarks of unborn son Archie's skin while she was still in the UK. They didn't want him to be a prince, which would be different from protocol, and that he wasn't going to receive security, she told Oprah. What's more, she says, we have in tandem the conversation of, he won't be given security. He's not going to be given a title. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. Samuels noted that displeasure with William and Kate's visit is symbolic of the legacy left by the British monarchy in Jamaica in not acknowledging or compensating Jamaicans for the role it played in the enslavement of its people. We see no reason to celebrate 70 years of ascension of William's grandmother to the British throne because her leadership, and that of her predecessors, have perpetuated the greatest human tragedy in the history of humankind, that is chattelled slavery for 300 years. The protest comes as increasing Republican sentiment on the island is moving towards removing Queen Elizabeth II as its head of state. Queen's counsel Hugh Small, a distinguished legal voice in Jamaica, has told that overall there is absolutely no enthusiasm for this visit. And I think that the majority of Jamaicans feel that it is not relevant at this time. A lot of this has come into focus and we recognize as Queen Elizabeth is in her 90s, that her health has been uncertain as is the case with most people who get to their 90s, and the prospects of any of her heirs or successors being head of state of Jamaica is not something that the Jamaican people would regard with any enthusiasm at all. The case for removing the Queen as head of state has been brought into sharp focus by the Caribbean island of Barbados' decision to become a republic last year. Jamaica celebrates 60 years of independence in 2022 an anniversary that Small believes should have been marked not by a royal visit but with a bill in Parliament to remove the monarch from Jamaica's constitution. It is not going to be achieved this year, the 60th anniversary, and that is because the government did not treat it as a priority. But I think that recent sentiments that have been expressed by different people make them realize that they've got to get moving now.